I go you my I say no turn be. O sile mu yan je nje o ta e. Enebi. Ton mama re lewe. Suba to su money. This one. Ah. Ma ka on boys wa ni garage. Mo ba mi sha. Ah, mi fe be o woli. Ah. Eh gbon ti won so ni. Why are you doing so much? Why are you Sikarre and you I Oh, I'll be me money. Abi.
to care and father. Thank you very much. I love you too, my dear. And I do just make sure you study very well. I don't move in bad guns. Hmm? Take this. For any emergency need. I promise to always be a good father. And I will do anything, including selling this myokada, to make sure that you finish your education. Hmm? Thank you. Bye bye, Daddy. Okay. Anything about school out tomorrow. Oh, that's true. I know. But then you've not told me who is coming with me. You or that? Um, I won't be able to come with you. This meeting, this your PTA meeting, is coming up at the same time with the meeting I have with the Singles Fellowship of God's Greatness Church. Uh, I can't possibly come with you. Alright? No, no, me. Mommy, but I've been telling you before now, eh? And you know what? Our school principal said he would punish anybody who refuses to come with his or her parents. Don't worry, Daddy will go with you. Mom, do you want them to punish me in the school? No, quite better. Pity keeps coming, but this program is just once in a while. Mary, my girl, what is the matter with you? You look so sad. Hmm? Dad, mm -hmm. the PTA meeting of my school is tomorrow. And so? And the principal said he would punish anybody who does not come with his or her parents. I have told mommy, but she said she is having a program. Daddy, please follow me to the meeting. Please. You see, Mary, I'm so sorry. I will not be available to go with you. I'm traveling this evening to Lagos to attend the, an annual seminar with uh, the Faithfulness of Christ Church. Um, the first session of the meeting will be starting by 10 a.m. in the morning and 5 p.m. in the evening, respectively. So I'm sorry, I will not be able to go with you. But in any case, um... Larry! Larry! Ah. Yes, sir. Please, you have to follow Mary to the school tomorrow to okay. attend a PTA meeting. Okay, sir. By 4 p.m. at the dot. Okay, sir. Please make it a point of assignment. Okay, sir. Settled? You can go. Thank you, sir. Mary, Mary. Mary, my girl. Baba! Hey, Baba! Baba! Hey, Baba! Baba! Baba, I don't know me. <laughs> what is the matter with you? How dare you disturb my meeting with Aganodi, the God of deep revelation? 
Baba. The sickness has started again. Yes, Baba. Yes, Baba. Place him down there. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. I cannot attend to him now. I'm having a meeting with my source. Baba. Please help us. Baba. This is the only child I have, Baba. Please help us. Baba. Baba. I just tell God that my parents are pastors. Why do you say that? Pastors don't have time for their children. They have time for any other person's children, but their own. Look at me. I just pity her. She has been crying she, since she came to school today. She said her parents are pastors and they don't have time for her. So her parents are pastors? They are pastors, both of them. In fact, full time pastors for that matter. I can see sense in what you have just said. Also, thank God my parents are not pastors. The black e-goat and the two keg of pan oil with three keg of pan wine. I asked you to take to a thick junction of the spirit the other time you came. Did you do it? Answer me! Uh, eh, eh, Baba, you, you said it that day, that if we do it, the usual confusion that always attack Ogunwale will stop. Yes. <laughs> and you know what is stop? Ah. Ah. No, Baba. But you also heard it, that when the confusion stops, my wife and I will always be afflicted with nightmares and oppression in her dreams. Uh, Baba, that is why we didn't do it. But Baba, we thought there could be a better way to help us. Baba, please, please help us. Yes, Baba, please help us. Please help us, Baba. Help us, Baba. Mm. If confusion leaves your son, I will just have ordinary nightmare and oppression in return. Which one is better? Look, if you refuse to do what the gods ask you to do, very soon, constant chronic uh, epilepsy and constant migraine will join hands together and kill yourself. Ah! Oh, bro! Yeah, my baby! Baba! Uh, please, please, help us! Please help us! Help us, Baba! Help us! Help us, Baba! Please help us, Baba! <laughs> there is no other help except you do what the gods ordered. Baba! We will do it, Baba! Yes, Baba, we will do it! You will do it! Yes, Baba! We will do it, Baba! You will do it! Yes, Baba! We will do it! Help us save our son, Baba! <laughs> Oh, Baba, thank you. Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Make sure you do it, oh. Baba. I won't forget. I repeat. Make sure you do it, oh. Baba. We will do it. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. I bring you greetings from my daughter and a special greetings from my darling husband. He's a wonderful man. He's a man who wants to desire. Please put your hand together for my husband.
case today is the role of the wife in the home. The role of the wife in the home. I'm going to treat it in three parts. One, her role as a wife, husband, her role as a mother with children, and that her role with the other members of the family, especially the neighbors. I know God will bless you as we share together today in Jesus' name. Amen. And every woman will be positively affected to perform the of this program in Jesus' name. You are Mary or one ago? Yes, sir. My class teacher said you would like to see me, sir. Your class teacher reported that only you came in with a garden in his class. Despite my warning that I only want to see your parents and nobody else. It's the parents teachers association and not guardian teachers association. So why did you disobey my order? Mary! I am sorry, sir. Sorry for what? Okay. Why was your father not at the PTA meeting? He traveled. He went for administration, sir. I see. What about your mother? She also went for administration, sir. What? Administration? Just get out of my office. Tell your class teacher to see me. Yes, sir. For violating my instruction, you'll be punished. Yes, sir. What? What sort of parents are these? Who do not even care about how their child is performing in school? Look at this man. Huh? Stop. One, two, three, four. Mark it. Mark it. Mark it. Why are you doing like this? No, no, no. It's okay. Look at it. From that face to this face. Look at that man body right there. Why are you doing like this, man? Look at that man body. Now make sure you cut it very low. You hear me? Okay. Yeah. Doctor said we are perfectly okay. I mean, she has conducted series of tests on us, and she said nothing is wrong with us. That we are not suffering from infertility. I, that is the result of the test. So, so that means what we are experiencing is a mere delay and not denial. There you go again. Eh? That's exactly what the doctor used, mere delay. Five years of waiting for children. She called that mere delay and you're saying the same thing, mere delay. No. But my dear, that's uh -huh. the fact. Look, the doctor has been a family doctor for quite some while now. And we have always found her to be very competent. So th there's no need to doubt the results. Honey, let's go and get another doctor. Let's get another doctor. Let's Look. let's do another. Look, my dear. Yes, my with dear, another doctor. My dear, it's not necessary. We have gone for several tests, and the, the result has always been the same. The doctor is competent. Look, I, I don't think we should start beating around the bush. What we are experiencing is mere delay and not denial. <laughs> Let us continue to trust God. The, the Bible says in his time, he makes all things beautiful. <laughs> and the Bible says, look, he will grant the desires of his children. I believe that very soon, very, very soon before long, the Lord will answer our prayers and give us our own children. Not a child, but children. So, my dear, let us continue to trust in God. Eh? It is well. Look, you know I don't like seeing you crying like this. Oh, yeah, wipe away your tears. Eh? Wipe away, yeah? <coughs> Look, the Lord will answer us. Mary, for how long will you continue to be with your Eh? If 
your parents didn't care. There are other better guys who care outside. Guys. I'm sorry. I can't do that. You don't understand what I'm saying. If your parents didn't care for you, there are better guys who really care outside. I mean, they will fill in the gap of your parents for you. I've told you, I can't do it. If I can't influence a person for Christ, then I won't allow anybody to influence me the other way. You get a day on civilized idiots. Just look at yourself. You better come and get connected with correct guys who will open you up and fill the gap of your parents for you. Mr. Kola, make sure you take your drops regularly and rests properly. Thank you. I will do. Thank you. Please call me the next person. Okay. Good day, doctor. Hi, ah, madam. So it's you. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Very much for the other day. I uh, don't mention your yeah, welcome. But please, what can I do very fast before my husband will get to know? Madam, medically, there's nothing you can do. Oh my god. Madam, why don't you open up to your husband before he gets to know from another doctor? Open up? Yes. Ah. Oh. Oh. I'm afraid. It's been a long time now. Why don't you seek for spiritual intervention? Spiritual intervention? Yes, madam. Oh. <sighs> so, the doctor said there is nothing he can do to help you. Hmm. She said there is nothing medically that could be done. She then advised that I seek spiritual help. <sighs> hey. And what are you planning to do now? I learned there is one powerful man of God in Ibado. First thing tomorrow morning. I intend to go and look for him to seek for help. I just pray that. He will be able to help me. Don't worry, my friend. I know to every problem, there is always a solution. And this won't be an exception. Oh, don't worry. Amen. Thank you very much, my friend. My friend. Ah, what are we friends for? <sighs> yeah. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. So soon? You're home early today. Yeah. I think Sister Joy is coming today. Because I know when one's wedding remains two weeks like yours, there is always impromptu meetings between the two lovebirds. <laughs> well, actually there is no meeting. I came home purposely because of you. Because of me? Yes. Why? Um, a certain pharmaceutical company placed an advert for employment in here. Page 12. Yeah, okay. I see. Vacancy for the position of an accounting officer. Applicant must possess BSc accounting, an MBA certificate or professional certificate like ACA, ACCA will be an added advantage. 
An applicant must possess two years working experience. I'm not qualified. Why, why two years working experience, for God's sake? <laughs> but to try is not a crime. I know. <laughs> Fresh graduates in this country are in trouble. For goodness sake, why two years working experience? Does it mean that fresh graduates will not have work? Anyway, the, the interview I told you of is coming up tomorrow morning. Ten. Mm, that's good. Um, after leaving the place of interview, you can go and submit your application for this one. What do you think? That's a good idea. I'll try. Thank you. I'm grateful. Just a minute. Okay. <laughs> How did you get to know this place? Uh, sir, I was in your office. And your secretary told me that you just left for the house. Oh, I could not afford to go back to where I came from without seeing you. So I, I appealed to her to describe your house to me. I'm sorry for coming home. No problem. Um, you said you are married for five years and your courtship lasted for one year. Yes, sir. So it sums up to six years. Yes, sir. Uh, in all these six years, you could have seized an opportunity to tell these things to your husband. I wanted to, Pastor. But fear was keeping me from doing that. You see, Pastor, this was how it happened. I, I was having an affair with a young man who promised to marry me. Then I became pregnant for him. But he denied the pregnancy. He not only packed out of his house, he left the town entirely to an unknown destination. So I decided to abort the pregnancy. But in the process, I, my, my womb was damaged. Shortly after that, the, my husband started coming, asking for my hand in marriage. And he kept coming, and he kept coming, saying I was the will of God for him. Let me get you right. Uh, you agreed to marry him because he insisted that you were the will of God for him? That's why you agreed to marry him? Yes, sir. You see, I, I knew he was an SU by that time, though I wasn't born again. But he kept saying he had heard from God expressly that I, I was the will of God for him. So I thought maybe God had actually truly spoken to him. Moreover, I wasn't prepared to die without any husband. Because and I knew who was going to marry a woman with a damaged womb. So I, I agreed to marry him. <laughs> okay. Were you a member of the same church? Yes, sir. Um, now, what do you want me to do for you now? Thank you, Pastor. Sir, I have heard so much about you and all the great things that God has used you to do, particularly for barren women. Pastor, please pray for me. That God will bless me too with the fruit of the womb. Um, what you are asking from God is so simple. Uh, in as much as you are ready to obey instruction. Instruction? Yes. 
Um, you have to confess all your sin and accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And you have to confess all that all, all you have told me. You have to tell them to your husband. Ah, Pastor. You see, madam, confession is the tool in the hand of God to work out a perfect deliverance. The Bible say, he that covers the sin shall not prosper. But he that confess and forsake it shall obtain mercy. Pastor, my husband will throw me out of his house. Ah! <laughs> He will not only stop loving me, he will never in his lifetime trust me again. Ah! Mm -mm. Ah, no! Hmm. Ah! This case is so hot. Larry! Larry! Yes, ma. Ah, welcome, ma. Did this girl take her medicine in the afternoon? Uh, yes, ma. Ah, but she's still so hot. Okay. When it is 5 p.m., if that is not back from the office, please take her to the clinic so she can go and see the family doctor. Okay, ma. Mary, Lali will take you to the doctor. No, no, mommy. Ah, no. Uh, I want you to be the one who will take me to see the doctor. Ah, oh. Mary. Mm. Have you forgotten that today is Thursday? Mm -mm. But we don't have any program in the church today. What about the program we have been praying about? Uh, well, we have been praying about so many programs since last week. The Youth Fellowship Program of Mercy Assemblies. Uh, you know I'm the guest minister of that program. It is starting by 5 30. And as a guest minister, I have to be there by about 5. Oh my God, take me there. No. Look, 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 look. Larry will take you there. Come on, dear. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. You will be alright in Jesus' name. God will heal you. <laughs> I picked up this letter for you from our mailbox this afternoon. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. I see. Wow! Wow! This is it! Great! What is that? Letter of employment. From where? Ah! Direct Insurance Company. 
the last place I attended the last interview. Oh, yes. <laughs> great, great, great. Hey, God, I thank you. I thank you. Come in. The salary, yes, French benefit. Ah, great, great. Yes, they even said I should resume work on Monday 15th of this month. Uh huh? What is today? Today is um, Thursday 11th. Ah, that's great. Tomorrow 12th and uh, Saturday 13th I will spend in preparing and uh, first thing on Monday morning. I'll be at work. <laughs> Woo! God! Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for your patience and endurance. Oh, thank God. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Ah, well, I uh, said for you just to know how much you realize for the building project last week. Um, actually, sir, uh, I cannot say precisely the amount that was realized. But Elder Hebel told me that the congregation really gave towards the project. Uh, but I forgot to ask him the exact amount that was realized. Actually, you, actually, you phoned me okay. and he said he would like to see me. I'm sure he wants to give his reports. I will be sir. Sir. I asked after you from mommy yesterday and she said you went to the village to see Baba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's no problem, sir. No, there's no problem. I just went to see how Baba is doing. I thank God you're doing fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's amazing. Ah, Your wife was not at the Bible study last week. I hope there's no problem. No, no, no. There's nothing, sir. There's nothing. She's fine, sir. Please greet her for me. It's okay, sir. Bye. Okay, sir. Bro, you better stop bothering yourself over the issue. <laughs> oh, Jesus is Lord. You know why I'm bothered? It's what the personnel manager told me. He said the chairman would like to see me tomorrow morning. For whatever reason, I don't know. But he has warned me seriously never to disclose it to him. But why didn't they tell you the day you went for the interview? Well, he said he thought I, I have already known before putting forth my application. But why wouldn't he employ a Christian for God's sake? I am hearing that for the first time in my life. Well, I think it's because the chairman is an atheist. And he has special consideration for atheists like himself and people from other religions. Mm -hmm. So, there are no Christians at all in that company. Ha! Huh. Hmm. There are. I learned there are so many of them, but they all have dropped the faith. In fact, many of them with uh, Christian names either changed the name or the took on another name that has no Christian affiliation. Ah! Hey! I cannot believe that such a thing is happening in our mother society. <laughs> it's happening, for real. You know the saddest thing? The personnel manager himself used to be a Christian. A strong one for that matter. Yeah, so he confided in me. How did he know that you are a Christian? Did you preach to him? Oh, uh, well, not really. But he saw me with the Bible. And he warned me that I must not allow the chairman to see me with the Bible if I still want to keep the job. <laughs> ah, that is serious. Though. So, the pastor told you to go and confess to your husband. He said if I confess that God will forgive me <laughs> and that he, he may even give me another womb. <laughs> and what are you planning to do? Have you confessed to him? Ah, oh, Ore, I'm afraid though. Hmm. Ah, I don't think I can do that. But I'm, I'm, I'm seriously considering doing it. Don't just do it. If you are not ready to spend the rest of your life in sorrow and shame, mm. something you have not told him 
for the past six years that you've been together. Now, you want to tell him that's what? That your womb has been damaged. <laughs> and how are you going to say it? Then, eh, honey, sweetie, eh, I have no womb. I have, eh? Don't be silly, my friend. <laughs> don't, don't, don't just think of that. I am confused. Oh, what will I do? All right, don't kill yourself before death comes. I know where we can go to get a solution to your problem. My friend, take me there. I know a man at Agarodi Shrine. The man can make a man pregnant. Uh -huh. Talk less of ordinary woman with a damaged womb. When are we going to go there? Where does he live? What time? Oh, you ask too many questions. You can see it is late already. Come very early tomorrow morning and I will take you there. Huh? Just take care of yourself and in fact the way you are here, you want to kill yourself gradually. Eh? Because of what? I'll see you tomorrow. Sit there. You don't have a problem, my friend. Go and enjoy yourself. Ah, Go and enjoy yourself, brother. The chairman is around now and he wants to see you. Meanwhile, don't forget all that I told you. Be careful of all you tell him. I will. Thank you. Let's go. How are you, chairman? Thank you. This is the man. Okay. Mr. Fred and Jay Adedosho. Yes, sir. The newly employed accountant. Exactly, yes, sir. sir. Mr. Fred and Jay Adedosho. Yes, sir. I want to work with the Finishing Coach Student. All right. Mr. Fred. Yes, sir. I saw your credentials. You are such a brilliant person. And your performance during our interview with you also indicates that you are brilliant. And this is why I'd like to meet you personally. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, that reminds me. You wrote your name in all your credentials as Friday J. Adidosho. Well, my my J stands for for John, John sir. Oh. Okay, you are once a Christian, sir. I was once an atheist, but now I am a Christian. What? Manager, see me immediately. I'm here, sir. So, Mr. Friday is a Christian. No, sir, he is not. Are you not Friday, Lady Shu? Answer him now. Sir, my name is Friday John Adidoshu. Can you hear him? No, but. Is that so? Where? Sir, by the grace of God, I am a bona fide Christian. My name is Friday John Adidoshu. Where? I'm sorry. You have to leave this company with immediate effect. Sir? I'm uh, sorry. Mr. Christian, what did you call that? Please leave. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Um, sorry, sir. I think something is wrong with this man. He told me during the interview that he's Jamil. I don't know where he produced that John from. I don't want to hear anything from you. You I, at least you know what is happening in this company. <laughs> that one no be problem. Eh? Baba. Mm -hmm. I, I I hope that we can finish everything without involving my husband. Oh it's not as difficult as that. <laughs> Thank you, Baba. Give me some uh, minutes. Didn't I tell you that the man is powerful? <sighs> eh? 
You see, these two eggs are solution to your problem. Oh, thank you, Baba. I got them from the goddess of the sea. Eh? Goddess? For each, you pay 10,000 Naira. 10,000 Naira? So the two cost 20,000 Naira. Oh. Oh. Baba, you have done well. But everything I have with me here, all the money here, Baba, is, is 15,000 Naira. No, don't worry. 15,000. I will borrow you 5,000 here. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, you have my to friend. Give that. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Baba. Baba. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Baba. Thank you. Where you get to? At exactly 1 a.m. These two eggs, mix them with hot pap and drink it. Okay, Baba. Okay, Baba. By this time next year, you'll be carried to this. <laughs> thank you, Baba. Baba, thank you. Edward. Edward. Sir. Where did your sister say she was going? No, oh, she didn't tell me where she was going. She didn't? Yeah. But I'm sure she will soon be back. C can you see now? Can you see now? I mean, she left home since morning. And she's not back now. It's just some few minutes to seven. Can you see? Can you see that? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You can hear. Hey, hey, Edward. Sir. Hey, are you prepared something? Yes. Yeah, what are you doing? It's the answer. It's almost done. Adam. It's almost done, sir. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Polly? Yes. This is an invitation letter from the Union Fellowship of Flies and Principal of Jesus Ministry. Mm. What's this all about? They are inviting me for their forthcoming annual conference. Coming up between the 4th and the 5th of next month. Mm. That's about a month from now. It's okay. We'll be praying about Oh, thank you very much. Mm. I don't know. I don't have my husband. Mm. If I'd been married to somebody else, by now my ministry would have been truncated. <laughs> I just love you. I just love you. I love you too. Mm. Honey, do you know I've not heard anything from that woman yet? Oh, the woman we spoke about in the morning? Yes. Maybe she has not gone to see the husband. I guess she has not confessed to her husband. That would be bad though. It's a pity. People don't know that confession is the power. To healing and possessions. Yeah. I just pray that the devil will not use that to scatter the family. The men, no? <laughs> Let me have my neck. God bless you. Edward! Edward! Sir! Sir? Please see who's at the door. 
I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to go into our bedroom. Why, why did you decide to come to the guest room here? For God's sake, what do you think you are doing, eh? What do you think you are doing? You left this house since morning. And look at the time you are coming back. Eh? Where have you been? Honey, I would have preferred that we talk about this in our bedroom. Look, we are going to discuss it here. Where are you coming from? Okay, honey, I'm, I'm sorry. But, but I, I just wanted to explain to you. You see, I went to visit my friend Yafi. I'm sure you know her now. And when I got there, as we were just talking, she just fell down and slumped. You won't believe it. Hey, if you were there, honey, there's no way you would have left that family alone. I had to follow them to the hospital. And I've been there since then. And you know, I was trying to call you on the phone to, to explain to you. Each time I call your number, you know, the service has been very bad. You just keep saying, and hey, this line is not available, this line is not available. That was what happened, sweetheart. I'm I mean, sorry. I have every reason to be oh, hungry. Yes, now. but you see, you're so hungry, and you're, you're just sweating. Oh. I'm very hungry now. I I'm mean, I've sorry. not eaten anything since morning. And you, you expect uh, Edward to do the cooking. So if he doesn't know how to do that, then you expect me to go into the kitchen and cook for myself. Ah, oh, no, honey, no, no. I'm sorry. You see, I, I'll make it up to you, eh? I'm, I'm going to prepare pandemian for you. I'll put your. i make a favorite soup. You are now. Uh, hey! Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Edward, the table is set and you did not call us. Actually, I didn't want to disturb you and Daddy. Besides, Auntie, all you did this afternoon was bad. Honey, the table is set. I was only waiting for Daddy to finish his song before I start my own. Edward, you are not serious. Let's have a word of prayer today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Father, we thank you for the provision of this food. We receive it with thanksgiving. And we pray and provide for all those who have known in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Have this amount of eggs in the house? No, we had only two, so I saw two in your bag. Eh? You put everything together. Edward, what were you looking for in my bag? Sweetheart, <laughs> I was just about saying that uh, Edward is now a fantastic cook. Uh, <laughs> Look, uh, this tastes delicious. It's wonderful. <laughs> Edward, what were you looking for in my bag? I see, you remember you promised me a recharge card before you left in the morning. Uh, so when you came back, I collected your bag with the hope of finding the recharge card. So when I saw the two eggs, I thought oh, you bought them for the yam we were supposed to eat tonight. So and I prepared everything together. Edward, so 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 eggs have suddenly become recharge cards, eh? Eh? Sweetheart, huh? what's the matter? No, nothing. I'm okay. You should just take this. You won't believe it. Just have a taste, eh? Yeah. Have a taste. Open hungry. your mouth. Open oh. your mouth. Uh, I'm not hungry. Fun, fun. It's not hot now. Where to this morning? Uh, I had a phone call last night. You were asleep then. And um, who was it? Uh, the personnel manager of the company that sacked me. He said the chairman would like to see me this morning. Uh, which chairman? <laughs> I asked myself the same question. The Reco Insurance Company, the man that sent me out of his office. And why would he want to see you? Whatever for, I don't know. It crossed my mind at first that I shouldn't go. But after praying about it, I had the conviction that I should go and see him. 
quickly go. Alright, the love you with you. I hope to be back soon. Alright, we'll be expecting you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Friday. You see, the way you sunday your religion convinced me that you are really a godly man. Who will not because of money deny his God? Not many people can do what you did. I mean, you prefer to leave this job along with the juicy remuneration because of your God. I give you a credit for that. Thank you, sir. You see, I'm not a Christian. And I'm not ready to be one. But why I hate Christians that much was because of my first manager who claimed to be a pastor did to me. Is that so? What did he do, sir? He was always giving excuses for not coming to work regularly. And my work was suffering. Any day he came late, he would attribute it to the night Fiji they had in their church, which made him to oversleep. Really? This same man impregnated my secretary, who happens to be my uh, sibling. The pastor? They intended eating the whole shoe, the whole issue, as a secret. They went for abortion. In short, my sister died in the process. God. It was a friend of my sister that let out the secret. If not, the pastor would have kept quiet. Uh, I'm so sorry about that, sir. I'm so, so sorry. No. It's a wound that cannot heal because I love Olamide too much. I did not show Yes, sir. You are such a man that our country needs today. Many people will even go to the extent of selling their bodies or forging certificates because they want job. But your Christianity is with a difference. For displaying such a real integrity and sound honesty, I have made up my mind to give you the job. Really? Yes. Oh, oh praise God. Thank you, sir. And also, there's a room for promotion. If you prove for yourself as a hard-working man. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you, sir. You don't want to get if today. You don't kill me today. You are a bastard. Me? You call me bastard? Yes. Me, bastard? You are a bastard. Eee! You call me bastard? No, it's nothing you can do. Who is that? Madam, so is you. You're welcome. What is it? I'm done for. What happened? The eggs Baba gave me. Uh -huh, you've done it. Hmm. But you know, brother fried it for us to eat. <laughs> By the time I returned home yes, yesterday evening, he was already cooking yam for us to eat for dinner. I don't know what made me to give him my bags to carry inside. Yeah. The, the, the boy just opened my bag, took the two eggs out and fried it together with the one at home. Hey. What a mistake. Yeah. What am I going to do? Yes, let's go and meet Baba. Let's go and meet Baba. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Baba? 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 Ah! 
What a taboo. Baba. Baba. Baba, please. They fried? Uh, and yes. Ah. What a taboo. Baba, what are we going to do now? Baba, Baba what will happen? <laughs> Baba. Those who had the eggs will die in the next seven days. Hey! You could Baba, please. Baba, please. Ah, Baba. Baba, 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 please. Baba, ah, Baba. Baba, please. Baba, please. Ah, Baba, please. Ah, Baba, Baba, please. Oh, Baba, Baba, please. Baba, please. Ah, Baba. Ah. Wait for me. I'm coming. Take this. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. There is powder inside. When you get home, wait for exactly 1 a.m. That is the time to use it. Baba. You will mix the powder inside it with water. I use new brown broom to sprinkle it all, up, all over the corners of your parlor. Then that will go away, Baba. That's your remedy. Ah, oh, Baba. Baba. Thank you, Baba. Baba, thank you. Baba, we are very grateful. I am very grateful, Baba. Don't make mistake this time around, though. Make it exactly 1 a.m. Mm. Baba, thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. How did it happen? I don't know, sir. I was just told that she slumped when she was with her friends. I was not there. Okay, so you were not the one that brought her here? No, sir. Some of our friends brought her here while one of them came to our house to tell me. I see. So, where are your parents? They both traveled and will not be back until tomorrow. Are you a biological brother? No, doctor. Hey, then, what is your relationship with her? Please, doctor, tell me. Is anything the problem? Uh, well, not really, but uh, it's only that she has lost too much of blood and she will need blood transfusion as a matter of urgency. Ah! Doctor, I'm only the house help. Eh? House help? Yes, sir. My dear, 
Ah, ah. I hope you have not come here to think again. Eh? Look, I have been telling you. I have told you several times that God has not forgotten us. Mm. Yeah? He has not forgotten us. Thank you, I'm okay. Please go back to bed. It, 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 it's almost one o'clock. I don't want you to be stressed. Please go and sleep. I'm okay. Look, yeah. I can't go back to bed and leave you here. But I want you to know that God has not forgotten us. Mm. He's the God that answers prayers. Mm. I mean, he was the one that answered the prayers of Hannah. Yes, yes. And he's more than able to answer our prayers too. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I'm fine now. I'll, I'll just carry my Bible and, and read for some time. No. Thank you. No, 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 no. 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 Look, you know, I can't leave only you here now. Uh, I, I want you to know that your pains uh, are my pains. Yeah, yes, yes, your thank sorrows you. are my sorrows. Yes, thank you. You see, we have to be here together, eh? my dear. Eh? Ah! <laughs> look, look, stop crying. Okay. God will answer our prayers. Eh? Eh? It's, okay, it's, okay, it's, okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. See, the Bible says in this time it makes all things beautiful. It's okay. God will answer our prayers. Eh? Yeah, Pastor, Madam, why I sent for you is that there is a serious problem on ground. Serious problem? Yeah. Please, what is it, Doctor? Please. Your daughter has an incomplete abortion. What? Abortion? How? Doctor? As a matter of fact, the abortion was not well handled. It was handled by a quack. Oh my God. By a quack? The implication of that, Doctor. Well, anything can happen. Ah. Just keep praying. They don't care, they don't know. Jesus. And they want to follow. Jesus. Now, I know that the girls are angry with you. Ah. And it could be very dangerous that what you may think. Baba. Please, you have to help me. I, I, I'm not doing all of this intentionally. God, Baba, you have to help me. Oh. Hey, I don't want my husband and my brother to die. The only remedy that remains, I don't think you can do it. Ah, Baba, I will do anything. Anything, Baba. You just tell me. Eh? I don't want my brother and my husband to die. Just tell me, Baba, I will do anything. Can you get a madman? Whose madness is original? Mad what? Look, it remains five days for your husband and your brother to live. Oh. And you may not escape incurable diseases and untimely death because the girls are against you. Oh, Papa, where will I get a madman? Eh? <laughs> there are plenty in the market. It is the madman that we use as a ransom for you, your husband, and your brother who had the eggs. Eh, Baba, I can't get a madman. Eh? Ah. Not that alone. You will keep him for three days in your room. Hey, madman in my house. Also, you will be feeding him three times a day for the three days. Baba. He must not see the daylight until the third day. If he sees the daylight before the third day, everybody in that house will drop dead. Baba, this is death. Come here. This is death. Come here. Ah. Baba, let me bring... Why can't you keep the bad man in the house for me? In your house for me, Baba. I'll be bringing you food and money for him. I cannot guarantee that. Baba, you have to help me, oh. Hey. I say I cannot guarantee that. Ah. Larry, sorry. Who impregnated my daughter? Are you deaf? Ah! For the last time, 
who impregnated my daughter. Answer now. I, I, I don't know, sir. I, I swear to God, I don't know, sir. You don't know? And you're always in the house with her. You're always at home with her. And say you don't know. S sir, God, God, God is my witness. I, I don't know. We know. We shall see. She is still need to rest, so you have a very short time to stay. To so make it snappy. Thank you. Why? Why did you bring this shame on the family and ministry? What? Now just tell us who impregnated you. Huh? I said, who is What's going on here? Do you realize she's not yet strong? Sir, I'm mad. Please, you, you have to leave now. Please, you have to leave, sir. Man. Please, you have to leave. Hello. Ah, who are you? How are you? Yeah. Why did this start? Serious? I will be with you in the village tomorrow. Oh, I see your children and uh, wife. Bye. Okay. Who was that? It is Oye. I hope there is no problem. Say bye bye to see you in the village. Oh. How is no serious system around? From what you told me, I think it's serious system. And we started serious praying and fasting for the man's salvation. He needs to accept Jesus. Well, right. Which car are you taking to the village? This one or the other one? I can't trust this car. I doubt it. Not sleeping. Ah, I'm sure it must be late into the night. What's the problem? Um, dear, you see, um, Pastor shared a revelation. He said God showed him about us. Uh, let me tell me what is it about. Uh, he said in the revelation, uh, he saw a madman pursuing us with a cutlass. Ah, uh, madman? Yes. He? Uh, what kind of revelation is this? Uh, I wonder. Uh, did he, did he tell us the meaning of this revelation? He didn't say anything. He just said we should be watchful and prayerful. Ah. Yeah. Madman. I, I don't I don't like this kind of revelation. Ah. Only dear. You look uh, worried somehow. Ah. No. I hope there's no problem. No. I, I just mean we, we have to be prayerful. We just have to pray. We have, we have to pray. I believe no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. You see, the Bible says the thoughts he has for us, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. Yes. No plan of the enemy shall come to pass in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. <sighs> um, dear, uh, lest I forget. Uh, pastor said, uh, I will accompany 
to the village uh, tomorrow uh, later in the day uh, mm -hmm. he said uh, he wants to go and pray for somebody ah, what's the name of the village uh, uh, he didn't tell me okay uh, the lord will go with you amen and um, he will prosper your way amen. but please only try and go back to sleep i'm, I'm sleeping <clears throat> Oh, Jesus. Baba, please eat your food, sir. Thank you. I'm okay. Have you given food to the stranger? You mean the madman? I've not given any food to him, sir. I told you not to call him madman again. I don't want to talk Sure. Sorry, Baba. Why don't you give him food? His food has finished. And the woman hasn't brought any food, sir. What's wrong with this woman? She said she will come today. Okay. Go and spread the mat for me and go back to your work. Me. How are your children and wife? They are fine, but by me. Mm -hmm. I've warned you several times not to call me Fagbe me again. I'm no longer Fagbe me. My name is Jesu Be me. Oh, and that is why I will still want to talk with you on this important issue. Oh. Baba, you see, uh, in the book of uh, John, chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah, welcome, How are you? Thank you, ma'am. He's about. He's around, but he has visitors. Okay. Let me go and tell him. Baba. Mm -hmm. Now that you are born again. What? Born again? Uh, I mean, now that you have given your life to Christ, you have no business with charms and idols. So, we have to burn and destroy all your charms before we leave here today. Mm. Yeah, that's yes, it. We have to that destroy is. and burn all your charms before we leave here today. You know, all these, the devil can use them to hinder you from receiving your blessings from God. Yes. So we have to destroy them. It's okay. Praise God. But there's one mad man in my backyard. Madman, which I cannot allow to see the daylight until tomorrow. What is a madman doing in your house? Baba, the woman is around. Tell her to come in. That is the woman who was the madman. He said you should come. This is for. Uh, and where is he? He's there. I used the madman to protect her and her husband. Hello. Come in, you. Ah! What? What? You? Ah! Hey! Pato! Yeah! Baba! Hmm? Is this this is this the woman? Where is the madman? She is. Baba? Yes, Pato! Yes. That's his wife! His wife, yes.
You promised Zelos the man that impregnated you and the person that did the abortion. So, it happened one day. When I returned from school, is not around. She traveled. Uh, what for? She traveled to Lagos with daddy after you had gone to school. And for the three days revival daddy told you about that, have you forgotten? Oh, I now remember. But daddy didn't say would be going with mommy. <laughs> Maybe you forgot. Uh, Mary, uh, let me see. Oh. 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 Has killed me. Mm. He said I suspected it. I thought as much. That's the when I discovered that both of you were not around. Mm -hmm. I sneaked out to attend a birthday party of one of my friends. When we finished the party, It was already late in the night. Would you come with me to my house? Since you can't locate your friend. Uh, your house? No. Why not take me to my house? Since you came with a car. Okay, where do you live? Really? Ah, oh, you, Kasia. Oh, that far please. I, I can't drive tonight to that place. Besides, I don't want to be arrested by those police or your... You know, I don't have my particulars with me here. Come on. My house is very close to this place. Why can't you follow me there? There won't be any problem. Come on, babe, come on. Let's go, there won't be any problem. All right, I will. But promise to take me back home as early as 5 a.m. No problem. I did for you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. That's nice. The boy dropped the drinks he served me. Uh -huh. Before I knew it, he had already slept with me. <laughs> so, our daughter was impregnated by a rogue. Uh -huh. A rogue! I wanted to tell you, but you were too far away. After two months, I discovered that I was pregnant. So. <laughs> A friend of mine took me for an abortion. 
in one of the clinics. Mm. Mommy, I hate you. I hate you from the depth of my heart. Oh God. Oh God. <clears throat> you were too busy to watch over me. You were too busy to correct me. But you had time for all that you right? I hate you. I knew that you once preached in the church that parents should train up their children in the way you should go. But you never had time to train me. You only child. Dad. <laughs> That's time for other people's children. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you, Daddy. Mommy, I hate you. Oh, God. I hate you. Get out of my sight. Pastor, Madam, I need to see you immediately. Very important. <laughs> ah. I'm afraid we have to operate your daughter. Operation? Doctor, what for? The incomplete abortion she had had ruptured her womb and thereby causing septicemia. Huh. So to stop uh, to stop further occurrences of infection, we have to operate her. My lord. My lord, what have I done? Well, Pastor, if you give us the go ahead, it means we begin the operation immediately. Hmm. You want to operate the daughter of a pastor because of her name complete abortion? Well, I'm sorry, uh, Pastor. There is no other way we could help. I'm sorry. I know you can still forgive me for this my wrong. I know you can forgive me for this my wrong. God, forgive me in the name of Jesus. Take me just as I am. God, God forgive me. Pastor, tell her to leave. Tell her to leave before I commit murder. Okay, you can't do that. You can't do that. Look, Pastor. I said I am no longer interested in her. I am ready to live the rest of my life alone. What she has done is not as bad as what we're about to do. Don't forget, there is no broken life that God cannot mend. Madam, Mr. you have done terrible things by not confessing your past sin to your husband despite the fact that you have been living together for the past six years. You see, the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13 says, 
that whosoever shall cover his sin <laughs> shall not prosper. But whosoever confess and forsake them shall obtain mercy. The only way for a marriage to prosper is for both partners to confess their past sins and forsake them. You have failed to realize that in confession there is recovery and total healing. No, Pastor. No, Pastor. Tell her to leave. Tell her to leave, Pastor. Pastor, I must not come back and find her here. Tell her to leave, Pastor. Pastor. Oh, please. Leave. Don't do that. Tell her to leave. Tell her what to do. I will kill her and kill myself. Pastor. No problem. No problem. You want to kill your wife? I will kill her, Pastor. Go ahead and kill her. Pastor, I will kill her. Go ahead and kill her. Go ahead and kill your wife. Don't you know this is the penalty you have to pay for not acquiring from God before you marry her? Don't allow the devil to use you. Romans 5 8 says that God commended his love towards us. Even when we are yet sinners, Christ died for us. Remember your vows on the day of wedding. You promised to love and cherish her. Come watch me. Ah, ah. Forgive her. <laughs> when you forgive her, the peace of God will return to your home. <laughs> Please, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there is no sin that God cannot forgive if only you will confess and forsake them.